This week on The Loop Show Likes You. Maps, pizza, and a big fat mess. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop. The loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. And I'm Jamie. And it's a brand new year. We are ready to go. And since it is a new year, I want to be the first to tell you that the Loop Show likes you. Loopsters, we like you a lot. And we like to stop and check in and see what's going on in your life. Oh, can I show them the map? Show them the map. All right, Woo-hoo! here we go. Check this out. Boom. Yay! This map represents all of the states where we have heard from another Loopster. And it's not just the United States. We've also heard from Canada, Prague, and Scotland. And by the end of 2022, we want to fill this entire map. So, send us some postcards. Come on, New York, send us a letter. Wyoming, where are you at? Come on, Nevada. We know you can do it. Send us some mail. We believe in you. Send us a postcard. Send us a letter. Send us a package. And speaking of postcards, we have a ton of them right here. So let's read some. Woohoo! Let's do it. Oh, okay. This one is from Alice, and it says, I like to eat pizza with mustard on it. Oh, interesting. I can't say I've ever tried it. I mean, we could give it a try. I didn't think that was allowed. I thought it was strictly a hot dog hamburger yeah. condiment. Yeah, I wonder if it's a hot dog pizza, where it's a pizza that has the, like, like the hot ti- dog, the mustard. Tiny little, oh, yeah. Not, I thought you meant, like, physical tiny little hot dogs on them. Well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. However you want to do that. Thank you, Alice. Woohoo! This one also talks about pizza. It says, I have eaten an entire pizza in six minutes. And this is from Seth. Seth, for personal experience, I know that's possible. Well done. Nice. Well done. Good job, Seth. All right. Let's see. Oh, this one says, I like silence. That was nice. Yeah, I silence like it too. Be nice. I like it too. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this is from Patty, and it says, I can make car noises with my mouth, and it Ooh. can sound like a real car. Do you want to try? Yeah. All right. Uh... Jamie, do you have any resolutions for this year? Yes, I started a Bible plan last year to read through the Bible in a year. So I'm hoping to finish that this year. Nice. Yeah, how about you? 
Um, same. I want you to get through your Bible plan in the year. <laughs> That's my resolution. Okay. I have, do you have another one? Yes. Um, for my resolution this year, I want to um, have fun. Oh, that's friends. nice. That's good. I'm going to hold you accountable to that. Please do. Okay, all right. Now let's give this Wheel of Cards a spin and see what challenge somebody suggested. Wheel of Cards, Wheel of Cards, Wheel of Cards. Nope, I think we're almost there. All right, let's see what it is. All right. <gasps> Make elephant toothpaste. Yeah. That sounds awesome. All right, here we go. Okay. okay. Thank you. Safety goggles. Thank you. all Safety goggles. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Safety all right. gloves. Safety gloves. There we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> good. Ready. All right. Time to make some elephant toothpaste. Woo! Elephant toothpaste. This is exciting. Whoa! Ooh, it's getting bubbly! It's getting pretty bubbly! Come on! <laughs> here it comes, here it comes! Elephant toothpaste! Oh. Ooh! Oh, that's so neat! Oh my that. goodness! It has like a little fresh strip in there. <laughs> Extra fresh. Ooh, it smells good! Thanks for suggesting that. This is really cool. This is very relaxing too. Yeah. It is. It's like a, it's like a toothpaste lava lamp. Y'all are, y'all are old enough to remember lava lamps. Ask your parents <laughs> or your parents' parents. All right, so this is pretty cool, but I think this could be bigger. I agree. Yeah. They call it elephant toothpaste for a reason. Because elephants are big. Bring it on! <laughs> We're gonna go bigger. <gasps> Ooh, it's so pretty. Uh, so what do we think the best method is? Uh, like yeah. scooping, or yeah. do we think? Yeah. Go oh, ahead. will it really burn me? Because I'm not. Okay, great. I'm not as good with these gloves on. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go, even though it's gonna be kind of messy. <laughs> I like the plopping sound. All right, how's it going? I'm keep just looking going. at what I'm pouring in. Yeah, no, keep going. It's growing. It's growing. It's, it's moving at the rate of an elephant, which is <laughs> slow and steady. But strong. Promising. Look at, look at, look at, look. Elephant toothpaste. Oh, Elephant toothpaste. <laughs> Elephant toothpaste. Whoa. It's coming. It's beautiful. Here we go. Hey! Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's so, it's coming out so fast. All of the colors of the elephant rainbow. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. You, yeah. elephant, are gonna have some fresh breath. Fresh breath. Fresh breath. Wow, it's still going. I kind of want to push it that way and make a waterfall. Ah! <laughs> Do it again. Woo! Woo! <laughs> See, Nevada, this is why you need to send this postcard. This is my love fun. The water so works. Suggest really fun things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I do one more. One, two, three. Elephant to face! Oh. <laughs> that is excellent. Hey, Loopsters, try this at home. With permission from the proper authorities and zoning laws. <laughs> that was wonderful. What a mess. I loved it. That was fun. But I'm glad that we didn't have to clean it up. Whoever sent in that suggestion, thank you. We loved it. And thank you for your big questions. We love mm -hmm. to provide answers any chance we get. Or at least have a good discussion about the topics that matter to you. Okay, so this card asks, why is there always change? That's a really good question. Let's see what Kelsey has to say about it. Change is scary. And change can feel a lot like loss the loss of your comfort zone, the loss of your routine, and even good change can be scary. You know, it's New Year's and so we set resolutions and we talk about all the things that we wanna change and improve on. 
And those things are great, but it still means that you're leaving something else behind to make this change. And sometimes you can look at your life and you can feel like I'm changing, people around me are changing, my friends are changing, my situation is changing. And it feels like the only thing that isn't changing is that everything is changing. And that's kind of life. So what do we do? How do we rest? How do we have peace? How do we not be constantly afraid of change if we know that it's coming? And the answer is in scripture. In Hebrews 13, eight, the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So yes, you stepped into the unknown. Everything's changing. Everything will continue to change, but you can rest and find peace in the known. We know God's character. We know that He loves us. We know that He is for us. We know that He died for us. We know that He wants to be with us. Those things will never change. So you can boldly stand in the unknown of life and rest and find your footing on the known of Jesus Christ. He will not change. He won't change His mind about you. He won't change what He has done for you. He won't change how much He loves you. He will not change how much He will fight for you. He won't change. So even if you're looking at your life and it just seems like everything is changing all the time, people and circumstances, you can rest. You can find peace knowing that He will never change. He will always be the same. So when you're afraid, when you're standing in the unknown, when your ground feels a little shaky, ask Him to be with you. Ask Him to remind you how much He loves you, how much He will not change. Ask Him to help you trust Him even more when you're standing in the unknown. So as you start out your new year, make sure you take some time to set some goals. Ask some questions, make some plans, solve some problems. And share those goals with some friends. Share them with us. And let us know what you hope will happen this year. Leave us a comment. Or send us some mail. Oh, you know you can always just train a whole herd of rats to sing and <laughs> dance and send us a message. Put it on a flower and maybe a bee will come by and pick it up and bring it to us. That's right, bees are known for their postal distancing. The Loop Show address is in the description below. Thanks for getting messy with us, Loopsters. We're really looking forward to a fun year hanging out with you guys. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride! ride. Elephant toothpaste, elephant toothpaste. Oh, whoa. Ah. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, do you want to make some elephant toothpaste? We are going to leave how to make it in the description below. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out, and once you do it, leave us a comment and tell us if on a scale of like one to fun, how fun was it? Super fun. Was it one or was it fun?